And they certainly have a tough job out there. They do it every day in all kinds of weather. Like they said, 125 carriers, 35,000 papers every night. Everyone's been doing it for quite a long time, including Lisa, who's been doing it for 26 years, and Richard, who's still doing it at age 75. Another shout out to our newspaper partners out there today on National Newspaper Carriers Day. And thankfully, we were able to give them some good weather this morning. Plenty of sunshine to start the day off, and temperatures that aren't too bad either. 76 out outside our studios. Those temperatures across East Texas as cool as the 60s this morning. 69 in Gilmer and Mount Pleasant, 69 Nacogdoches, 72 in Longview and 75 in Tyler. The humidity out there not too bad either. Certainly has been worse over the past several weeks. Sticky conditions this morning. The only place uncomfortable is Canton. That means our frizz cast for today doesn't have to go all the way up to the top. We can stop it at just a little frizzy as you head outside for today. The other thing that could be making things a little bit uncomfortable today, even if it's not the humidity, is the allergies out there, especially for the mold sufferers. Just absolutely no break this summer. High conditions remain in place for those molds across East Texas. When it comes to temperatures, the next 12 hours will be pretty toasty, especially this afternoon. We're into the upper 90s out there by 4 and 5 o'clock. No chance for rain, only a few passing clouds expected with otherwise sunny skies for, day to, for today, which means if you're heading out toward the lakes out there, your Tyler Ford Lake and Fishing forecast. No major weather disruptions. 90s this afternoon and plenty of sunshine. Make sure you bring the sunscreen as you hit the water later today. Speaking of sunshine, it's been bad news for the burn bans across East Texas. Two more counties being Harrison and Marion County under the burn bans as of yesterday. Likely to see this list expand over the next week or so because really major rainfall not in the forecast. The picture around East Texas is very quiet this morning despite all of the activity in the Tropics. None of that rain likely to make it toward us. We have, of course, Hurricane Dorian, Tropical Storm, Fairnan in place, heading toward Mexico. Not expected to impact us here in the U.S. Two more areas that could develop out in the Atlantic. This one expected to stay offshore. One coming off of Africa could impact us in a week or two. We just have to wait and see. And then, of course, there's Tropical Storm Gabrielle in place, too. That one forecast to move into the North Atlantic and not expected to be a problem for the U.S. Let's go ahead and zoom in to two of those storms, though. Tropical Storm Fernand out there, again, expected to push into Mexico, will bring rain into extreme southern portions of Texas, but not going to bring it toward East Texas. And, of course, Dorian, that powerful Category 2 storm, still wreaking havoc toward the East Coast, bringing those winds and rains and storm surge along the coast of Florida up into Georgia. Should stay offshore for the next several hours into Thursday, but it could then make landfall in the Carolinas. Parts of the East Coast from Wilmington down towards Savannah, Georgia, now under hurricane warnings as of this morning, watching that system very closely. As far as our forecast here in East Texas is for, well, that's just sunshine out there. Future Skycast here showing a lot of sunshine through today. Temperatures in the upper 80s by 10 o'clock. We're into the 90s by noon and mid to upper 90s this afternoon. Those temperatures should top out around 98 with sunny skies. It's going to be toasty. Make sure you're staying cool. Next seven days show more sunshine and more hot weather. 100 and one They're high on Friday, same on Saturday, 100 on Sunday of a small chance for rain, a little bit of a cool down heading into next week, though those rain chances are only 10%, so don't really hold your breath and expect it here in East Texas. Of course, you can keep an eye on any pop ups and those hot temperatures with the KYTX CBS 19 app. It's in the App Store and Google Play. Just search for KYTX.